Hey friends, in this tutorial I will show you guys how to format numbers or how to show numbers on a screen. So let's get started. Now the first thing we do is that we open Python obviously. So for this demonstration I will use Python 3. Now let's create a variable. In this case I'm creating this variable x and you're putting this number 123.12345678 Now if I press enter and I see its value now notice that I have in here up to nine decimal places one two three four five six six seven eight nine but what uh, if I want to see only two decimal places how do I do that so for that what we need to do is that we have to use this format function now the format function it takes two parameters the first parameter is the name of the variable and the second is the decimal places so right now I am saying 0.2f so what it means is that it specify it or show it only up to two decimal places so now you can see that it shows me only up to two decimal places if I change it to let's say three now what it does is that it shows me up to three decimal places so what about this zero in here what does this mean for this let me just change it to let's say 10 just change this back to two and um, so let me first give a demo of it and then I will explain so what does this 10 mean in here it means reserve space for 10 characters or 10 numbers so in here you can see that we are currently using six characters it is one two three four five six however we have a space for another two because in here we have a specified ten so it's six in here and then it's a seven eight nine ten so it helps us pad the string or the number up to a limited number of uh, characters that we want so in here we are padding it using 10 characters so six of them you're using four of them uh, are spaces now in here if we change this symbol to this one to the smaller so previously it was the greater one that's why the spaces were in here this time it's the lesser now notice that the four spaces are in here however if you want to center it you have to use this caret symbol in here now notice that there are these six characters in here and then two in here and then two in here so it's two six two ten so we specify 10 in here you don't have to specify 10 you can specify any number that you want now another thing that you can do is that uh, so let's say this time x is equal to one two three four five dot one two three so what we want to do is that we want to improve the readability of it so this uh, if you have long numbers like uh, so let me change it again sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine and let's say one two three so if I do this it might be difficult for you to read is it a million or 123 million or what so if you use this option in here that says format the first parameter again is the name of the variable and then you use something like a comma so what it does is that after three digits it puts a comma and then after another three digits it puts a comma so it helps us read it so now in here we can see that uh, we can easily read it as 123,456,789.123 so this uh, helps us using this helps us uh, for the readability purposes to make the strings or the numbers more readable now what other uh, things can you do with this now let's say um, you have this number and then again it's 123 so if you show this x you can see that again it's the same this time you can change this format to you have to just specify this point again so this time we have to specify this point and then 2f so you can see that it shows us up to two decimal places in here what else you can do you can also express these numbers in scientific notations there are two ways of doing it so again we are using the format function the first parameter is the name of the variable and then we use this e so you can see that this time it shows us in this format it's a scientific notation it uses this to represent it another way of doing this is by using 0.2 e now notice that it shows this uh, in another way so these are different ways of representing it so if we change it to 0.3 notice that again there are some changes so what it does is that it 0.2 is for this to 0.3 sorry this 0.3 in here 3 is for this in here that says three decimal places so these are the scientific notations that you can use if you want I don't use them 
I don't need to use them but if you do so this is how you can use these scientific notations as well so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and if you found this tutorial useful make sure to share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one